How to Repair Mercedes VGS2 FDCT TCU P051300 Error with Opstar DC706 Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, your ultimate destination for all things automobile diagnostic tools and programmers. If you're passionate about understanding the inner workings of your vehicle and keeping it in top-notch condition, you're in the right place. From in-depth reviews to step-by-step -step tutorials, we've got it all covered. So, before we dive into today's video, make sure to hit that subscribe button and click the bell icon so you never miss an update. Let's get started. How to Repair Mercedes VGS2 FDCT TCU P051300 Error with Opstar DC706 If you encounter the P051300 error code in Mercedes vehicles equipped with the VGS2 FDCT transmission, you can use the Opstar DC706 ECU slash TCU programmer to repair it. This error often occurs due to low battery voltage, which can corrupt the data in the transmission's memory. Tools required. Opstar DC706 ECU slash TCU programmer. P004 adapter. Benz Getrag VGS2 FDCT TCU. Reliable high power DC stabilized power supply. 12V5A. Note. Use a stable and reliable 12V5A power supply to power the ECU during bench slash boot mode. The standard 12V, 2A power supply is only for charging the device and is not recommended for powering the ECU. Steps to repair the VGS2 FDCT TCU. 1. Preparation. Ensure your car's battery voltage is stable and above 12V. Connect the Opstar DC706 to a reliable 12V5A power supply. 2. Access TCM software. Go to the TCM software section on the Opstar DC706. Use the quick search function to locate Benz Getrag VGS2 FDCT TC1784. 3. Select Bench Mode. Choose the Bench Mode and ensure you have the P004 adapter connected. Review the instructions and wiring diagram provided by the DC706. 4. Connect Opstar DC706 with VGS2 FDCT TCU. Follow the wiring diagram to connect the Opstar DC706 to the VGS2 FDCT TCU using the P004 adapter. Ensure all connections are secure and correct. 5. Network connection and ignition control. Ensure the device is connected to a network. Turn on the ignition on the P004 adapter. Press connect on the DC706. Switch the ignition off when prompted, then turn it back on. 6. Read and save data. Read and save the INT flash. Read and save the INT EEPROM. 7. Repair data. Select the repair data function. Allow the device to repair the data. This process might take a few minutes. Wait until the process is finished and the data is successfully repaired. 8. Verification. After the repair is complete, Use a Mercedes diagnostic scanner to check the system. Verify if the P051300 fault code has been resolved. Detailed wiring diagram. Power supply connection. Connect the 12V5A power supply to the ECU. P004 adapter connection. Connect the P004 adapter to the Opstar DC706 and the VGS2 FDCT TCU. Ignition control. Follow the prompts on the Opstar DC-706 for turning the ignition on and off during the process. Summary of key points. 1. Use a stable 12V5A power supply. 2. Connect Opstar DC-706 to VGS-2 FDCT TCU using the P004 adapter. 3. Follow the on-screen instructions for ignition control. 4. Save INT flash and EEPROM data before repairing. 5. Use the repair data function to fix corrupted data. 6. Verify the repair with a Mercedes diagnostic scanner. By following these steps, you can effectively repair the VGS2 FDCT TCU and resolve the P051300 error, restoring your vehicle's ability to shift gears properly. Thanks for watching today's video. I hope you found it helpful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below letting me know your thoughts or any questions you might have. Your support means the world to me and helps keep this channel going. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and share this video with fellow automobile enthusiasts. Together, we can make the world of car diagnostics and programming a bit easier for everyone. Until next time, take care and happy diagnosing.